Now, I haven't gotten to this lately, but I figured a you know, better time than never. <laughs> but it seems over the past couple of days, if not the past week, several MLP fan group pages have pointed out something that was, you know, really interesting. And, of course, it's something that I touched upon as well, just by noticing certain things uh, in the series. And that is the fact that there is seemingly more evidence that opaline is indeed flurry heart. And one of these has to do with, I guess, a story background or something you know, that was touched upon, not just in Make Your Mark, but in Tell Your Tale. Something was pointed out there. I have yet to see that little mini episode that touched upon that. But also somebody pointed out to one of the pictures on the table in the lighthouse uh, during the movie, as well as pointed towards something similar uh, on the side, if you will, of opaline. And that basically being that the cutie mark on the side of opaline is the same drawing that we saw on the table, you know, in the lighthouse. And to basically bring this all together, you know, the story apparently that got recently told kind of makes the connection even more evident that indeed opaline is flurry heart. But the question is, how did this happen? How did this occur, right? You know, we all want to know, you know, the answer. If, it, this indeed, if this is indeed fact, if this is indeed fact. And a lot of us, including myself, have pointed out to maybe Sambra inputted a part of himself, basically used his magic to put a part of him, a piece of himself uh, into Floy Hart. Which, which over time grew and made her into what she is, or eventually would be. And some even point out to the comics. That's right, the season 10 comics. And I know some people will basically admit that, or acknowledge that the comics, no matter whether they're called season 10 or not, are not canon. But here's the thing. Season 10, published by IDW, is canon, if you want to look at it that way. They are indeed canon. They take place after uh, the last problem. Not in the future, though, but in the present timeline after Twilight's coronation. It takes place in, you know, that time frame. And if the comics are to be... Uh, believed as the tenth and final season of the entire Friendship is Magic uh, portion of the franchise, then the ending with Crystalis seemingly breaking out of the stone prison, we would assume in the future where Last Problem takes place in, uh, it would make sense. It would make sense that if Crystalis is the only one to escape, you know, she might have found a way to get her hands on Floyd Hart. Now, you might say to yourself, well, wait a minute. If that's the case, Flory Hart's grown up. Flory Hart's powerful enough to take her down. That is true. That is true. But, again, it's an assumption that her breaking out of the stone prison is in the future where last problem takes place. However, it could also indicate that maybe she's breaking free, you know, during... You know, the current timeline, you know, after the coronation and everything, you know, she's basically starting to break free, um, you know, a lot sooner than I think anybody would expect her to. So the question obviously is, if she was the only one that broke free, you know, as far as we know, you know, was she the one to get to Floyd Hart? Again, we're not... We're not totally in the know about that just yet. But a lot of information, as I've mentioned, you go to these various Facebook group pages and they will show you, you know, and explain in their own way that yes, there's evidence that Opaline is Flurry Heart and there is evidence that we probably know or have an idea who may have caused her to get this way. But we're not entirely sure yet. 
We're not entirely sure yet. For all we know, it could be a wild goose chase and it could be a totally all new character. The thing about that, though, is the creative staff have yet to come out and even acknowledge anything like that. They have yet to come out and say, look, Opaline is not who you think she is. She is an entirely different character, all new. You know, they have yet to say that. Nor have they even come out and said, you know what? That Opaline character you guys are invested in, she might be somebody from the previous generation, but we're not going to say who. So, you know, so basically, they haven't said either, either yay or nay um, when it comes to, you know, who Opaline really is or who she used to be before being corrupted. But hopefully we'll get the answer in the near future. Hopefully we will. But right now, right now, excuse me, it's, right now it seems that as fans are looking at it and speculating it, you know, day after day, you know, you know, month after month, moment after moment, it seems that more evidence in the fans' eyes are leaning towards Opaline being Floyd Hart and Floyd Hart being Opaline. And that all these other possibilities as to why seem to be making that connection even more legitimate in their eyes. But it's hard to say. It's hard to say because we don't really know. We don't really know whether or not that's going to be the case. Again, we could be going on a wild goose chase and we, it'll be revealed that, oh, it's just a former student of Twilight that got corrupted. That might be it. We're not sure. But again, I go back to when she absorbed a bit of that dragon magic, that dragon fire, and the way her wings and her horn glowed. It basically glowed a very Floyd Hart-like color. And I'm not the only one that saw that. You know, I'm not the only one that saw that. And I guarantee you, when Dr. Wolf does his review on it, when the bronies react, do their little reaction on it, they too are going to notice that. And they too are going to be like, oh my God, is this who we think it is? You know, you know it's not, they're not going to just watch that and not you know, see that ending there or see that moment there and not basically start going like, oh my God, is that, is, is Opaline Flurry Heart? You know, you know, they're not, it's not going to, you know, it's not going to, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not going to fall on deaf ears when it comes to them. You know, they're not going to be blinded by, oh, it's just a coincidence that that happened and it's not really her. No, they're going to point that out. That's a guarantee. That is a guarantee, my friends. But let me know what your thoughts are, though. What are your thoughts? And I'm sure you've heard about it. <clears throat> I'm sure that some of you that might be members of the Facebook group pages may have heard about this already. What are your thoughts? Let me know down below in the comments as well as in the live chat during the premiere. Like the video. Ooh, support me over at Venmo at brian roma 2 cash up at BWRoses98. Also, check me out at Vimo at BWRoses for content you can't get here on YouTube. Also at patreon.com slash BWRoses with the $1, $3 tier. Currently working on the possibility of doing a $5 Q&A, so be on the lookout for that. Also, ladies and gentlemen, check me out on my DeviantArt page at BVW1979. Also check out the Teespring store for merchandise you can't get anywhere else, and got some new MLP-related merchandise there as well, just in time for the holidays. Also check me out at BW Roses Discussions, all your audio podcast locations except for Pandora. We are nearing 430 podcasts, guys, and this might be one of them that helps us get closer to that number. But let me know what your thoughts are down below. Comment if you like. Love to hear from each and every one of you. And until then, I'll talk to you all later.